Let's take a live look near O'Hare Airport, where nearly five dozen flights have been canceled today due to weather and the grounding of all Boeing 737 MAX 9 aircraft. The grounding is largely impacting United and Alaska Airlines. And I'm sure you saw the big story over the weekend that a portion of a door that blew off one of those aircraft in the Seattle area. Kennedy Hayes, or I should say Oregon, is live at Denver International Airport. Kennedy, how soon until airports actually return to normal because of this grounding? Well, Natalie, it could be a few days, according to Alaska Airlines. Alaska was flying a 737-9 MAX out of Portland International Friday when a part called a door plug failed. Now, the feds have ordered inspections of all 737 MAX 9s. Alaska and United Airlines are the only passenger airlines that use them, and they have 171 between them. Shortly after takeoff, the door plug flew off, and this Alaska Airlines jet depressurized. Some of the passengers wore oxygen masks while the plane made an emergency landing. No no one was seriously injured. The NTSB announced a teacher near Portland found the blown out door plug in his backyard yesterday. Two cell phones were also recovered and the NTSB also says the airline had stopped using this jet on long flights before the incident because it's low cabin pressure warning. System activated three times including the day before the accident. But experts point out this sort of thing is very rare. Your chances of being injured by a fellow passenger with with air rage um, and, and, and in-flight belligerence is actually much greater than an accident. I wouldn't have any concern about flying. I think wearing your seatbelt is always good advice anyway um, in case of turbulence. In a statement, Boeing said safety is our top priority and we deeply regret the impact this event has had on our customers and their passengers. We agree with and fully support the FAA's decision to require immediate inspections of 737-9 airplanes with the same configuration as the affected airplane. And Boeing also says it will be holding a company-wide safety meeting tomorrow. And United Airlines says they've been able to avoid some flight cancellations by putting passengers on other types of aircrafts today. At Denver International Airport, Kennedy Hayes, Fox 32, Chicago.